guys just look at these websites with me this first one is a beautiful orange website and when you hover over the button it glows orange and when you hover over this it has a smooth animation the background looks cool and the text you just know that this is crafted well next as you can see this one again it just looks really cool all right when you hover over this it zooms in you get beautiful modern looking websites this one looks futuristic and you know i'm not a professional designer i really suck at designing so if i would do something like this it would probably take me a couple of months just to learn the basic stuff but what if i told you that these websites were all created using just ai and i'm not even joking i found this really cool tool called aura you can go to aura.build to try it out yourself and just with your prompts you can now create beautiful modern website without hiring expensive teams especially with gemini 3 pro's release this thing is gonna go crazy in the next couple of months you can now go to something like dribble to their web design section and find inspiration right so for example this one you can save this one screenshot it and give it to aura and build it out for yourself almost at an instant you can go to my mind to save a couple of designs and here's another one mobin.com which is just tools to help you collect your favorite designs in one place again you can screenshot this give it to aura to have it built for you now recently i actually found this one affinity by canva actually it, affinity in itself is like a really cool tool already it's a photoshop illustrator alternative and the best thing about it it's free so going back to the actual video their website when you go to it i'm scrolling down and look at the animations of this they thought of this so much and you know that designers a lot of people worked on this but we're gonna try and test if we can recreate at least this part of it and screenshot it give it to aura to have it build it for us so i just want to show you this one i'm actually in just in the free plan but their pricing is actually very competitive just for 20 dollars per month you can already do a lot of stuff you can export it to html files in figma you can have pro templates and you can even have subdomains and all the good stuff i just want to show you what the possibilities of this are because i don't have any use case for it but i just want to share it with you i'm not a designer but i think you'll be amazed at what you can do with the free plan so this is the screenshot that we just got from affinity and we've already selected gemini 3 pro prompt builder and this is cool the prompt builder alone it allows you know non-designers to be able to create prompts even from scratch you know this is like the cool part if you are in the pro plan you can select templates right if you like this design you you can remix it basically for this one usually you, you would use this create a landing page from a product called aura a chat app that removes clutter in the style of apple so if you're a designer you know what that means but for our purpose we just want to recreate that affinity section and uh, create adapt a new section change text names and numbers and this is what i saw as a really cool thing about this they are already using best practices from designers so you can use a conify solar dual tone bold icons and we'll see that in a minute but yeah i think i'm good with this one sorry yeah you you need to click uh add the prompt and there we go so without typing anything we've got a really solid prompt here and we can now just create it's trying to build it from scratch and just from this alone i mean this is far better than what you're going to see if you're going to have it built by ChatGPT or claude this is freaking insane and then boom just like that so i think what happened was because gemini 3 pro has this insane new capabilities to generate images using nano banana pro it was able to create this first and uh like aura is trying to replicate it i think because we're not in the pro plan it didn't like closely replicate it but just from this alone it looks really cool and i scroll down there's another section here you can also go to the design mode and you can select single and specific parts of the website for example if you want to modify this you can select uh, click support and modify that one so this combines the capabilities of a modern web builder such as wix squarespace but add the ai component to it and it just looks really beautiful and then you can also go to the code section and copy this whole thing right it's just html i can go and copy this one and 
paste it over to something like ChatGPT, Claude, or any other b- website hosting platform, and you can now have this on the internet. How cool is that? But if you're on the, again the pro, the pro plan, you can click on publish, and you can just share it here. Now, what I want to show you is let's go back to the homepage. If you click on assets, you can even change the images, right? And it's that easy. I mean, like how are we not appreciating this tool? So that's Aura. And what I want to show you is you can actually change the background. So I found this other cool tool called Unicorn.studio. And it's basically another tool to collect your favorite designs, but it's more for website animations. So if you go to community, you've got a bunch of samples here. For example, here, they've got like this black hole background that just looks amazing. You can remix this and use it for your website. You can remove some parts and this is how they were able to recreate this. And you can export it and put it on your website. Now, this is one that I like to make as a background. And right now, again, it looks cool, right? It's just light rays. So this was created by a designer and we can now remix it. And I want to make it as a background on our website. Now, you can change colors. You can also make it brighter. You can still edit it, but I think, you know, this is what I found, which looks cool, right? We can increase the scale. And we, as we can see, it makes it into symbols. And that's already cool on its own. You can even change from classic to, you know, squares to circles, right? And I think it's a nice looking background. And what we're going to do is we're going to export it into an embed. And copying this project ID, we can actually go to Aura and embed it here. Click on Unicorn, paste the ID here. I forgot to click on publish. So after you publish it, you can go here and then you can copy the ID. And then once you do that, as you can see, it just doesn't look that good. So uh, I need to like fix it first. That's how you import from Unicorn to Aura. And you can do a bunch more stuff. You can change the backgrounds. You can change the images, the animations. For example, here with the button, you can adapt to at, for example, buttons. And apply changes. So yeah, it took a bit of a while, but oh, damn. <laughs> this is super freaking cool. I did not code anything here. I just selected this, prompted it a bit, referenced this design, and it's able to do it for us. I don't mean that, you know, all designers are cooked, but if you are a UI UX designer, these are going to be your best friends. It's going to allow you to just speed up your workflow. And I told you, if you subscribe to the pro plan, you can actually export this over to Figma. And that's just freaking insane at that point. From Figma, you can now pass it to your designer and that designer is going to vibe code. Basically, the software development lifecycle is now going to be sped up and just be more productive because of AI and these tools. So yeah, hope you like this. Definitely give Aura a try. Get your background from Unicorn and just test stuff out.